Organizers of tomorrow's protests against water charges say that over 90 marches are due to take place across the country. Right to water estimate over 100,000 people will take part. This afternoon details were released of traffic restrictions across the country. Speaking in Farm Lee, the Minister for Finance Michael Noonan said decisions on the final makeup of the charges would be announced in the coming weeks. The, the organisers of tomorrow's protests were today out drumming up support. 90 marches are due to take place, 25 of them in Dublin. They're expecting a big turnout. I think it's going to be absolutely massive, possibly the biggest protest in the history of uh, recent decades. Uh, so I think it's going to be an absolutely uh, unanswerable message of protest uh, to the government that these water charges must go. And just exactly how much we'll end up paying is still being discussed. Today, the finance minister said the decisions will be announced in the coming weeks, adding that water was a resource that simply couldn't go on being free. You know, ask yourself the question, what do you think would happen from a behavioural point of view if electricity were free? Like, would you ever turn off the light, even in the middle of the summer? And would you have appliances plugged in all the time? And... Uh, you know, water is a very scarce resource. Meanwhile, a former senior minister suggested the current controversies could be traced back to the fact that the formation of Irish water was rushed and that it should have been set up over a three to five year period. Because the Irish government at the time was under the cosh from the Troika, they telescoped that into something like two years. And undoubtedly, that is the origin of some of the problems that we're now experiencing. And I think the government ought to look at the framework for implementation uh, again, and I hope they might do that. And as the controversies and protests continue, so too does the installation of water meters. So far, 470,000 have been connected, and Irish Water says the current rate of installations is running ahead of schedule. The focus now, though, will shift on to tomorrow's marches. Traffic restrictions will be in place in a number of areas. AA Roadwatch will be providing updates. Just how many will take to the streets to protest will no doubt be keenly watched by government. Conor Hunt, RTE News.